guys here's madame okay welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it if you enjoy watching the videos please 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 don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button thank you so much and see you soon bye Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today I will invite you to work on the watercolor abstract painting. What we will need at the beginning is the masking tape. And notice that I already uh, secured the edges of the painting with masking tape to make sure that I will have at the end a beautiful frame. So right now I have to create a nice design on my paper. I recommend that right away you will be spontaneously applying the lines. Here. So, for example, I have one diagonal line and I think I can cut the space with another one here. So, I have a one nice uh, small shape. I have another one here. So, I have one, two, three, four shapes. And I think the big one has to also be changed. So, instead of going to, oh, I can actually go to the end. So, I create horizontal line here. Noticed. A little bit diagonal, I would say. It's going up um, towards the right side. And that's beautiful. I think we can also create another. Maybe we will cut this piece here. And we can go with another diagonal line. Or oh, this time we will change it in the way that... Let's see. That should look okay here. See? Cutting it like this. And going to the corner. Oh, that would be interesting. So how many shapes do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, I think that should be plenty unless maybe we we'll attach, we will cut this space or this shape with uh, another line. You see, so this time, how many shapes do we have? We have one. more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, perfect, nine shapes. Now we are ready to move to the next step. And the next step will be the application of watercolor paints in sections. So, I have my beautiful watercolor set up for me here and I will start with the yellow color. I really like yellow color and I will place it on the side. Make sure that your brush is clean as well as your watercolors because, because when they are not clean, then the color will not look nice, okay? Or you will have surprises. Maybe good, maybe bad, I don't know. So you see here, I will go with, for the first part, or first shape will be covered with yellow for me. Okay. Now I will be thinking, okay, what can I do with the other shape? And remember, we want to have a nice play of colors. We don't want to have a boring painting. You can still come to some of those shapes and change the color. Like for example, yellow can turn into green color for sure, or orange color. Now, but I'll just leave it for now and I will go to the color that is opposite to it and that's again my choice. I don't need to do it, but I will. I'll, oh, you see? So it's not, my brush is not perfectly clean. That's why it doesn't give me really sharp, um, bright purple. So I will clean up a little bit my paint and my brush in water. You see, and then I'm going with this lovely purple on the other side. So the other shape is covered now with the purple color. And then I will think about some other colors, yeah, the shapes, which color should they have? Remember that I'm looking for a nice balance here. So when you look at the painting, ah, I want that it will be vivid, but at the same time, mm -hmm. playful, playful way how the colors will move, right? our eyes actually from one shape to another. Okay, so we have a purple color here. I think we want to now go to the another cool color. So this is a warm color, this is a cool color. I think we can apply green in this section. So green is a secondary color and comes from the mixture of blue and yellow. Then, what I can do? Hmm. I'm just thinking about the other colors, the other sections. So I probably will use now a little bit of which color? Oh, blue. So I have to look where I have the nice blue. And I have a very bright blue, very powerful, and I place it maybe in this section. Right. 
Now I will be looking for the colors that will be slightly different. And I think I want to have a nice pink. And you can decide which color you want to apply. My choice will be to go for the pink now. And I want to have the pink next to, between yellow and, and my green. Now tell me please what should we do in the other sections. And Since we use the primary colors, which is yellow, blue, and oh, and red. Look at this, we have to use red now. Right, because we don't have it yet applied. So we have primary colors. We have yellow, red, and blue. And then from those colors, we make colors that are secondary. So. We have to now look, so we have a color purple, that is the mixture of blue and yellow. We have green, that is the mixture of red and yellow. And now we want to see what will happen with the mixture of yellow and red. So we are looking for orange color. So I will apply the orange color in this shape. See, it's quite intense. So we have quite a bit of colors now and we have still two shapes left. And then we'll be looking for colors like this, like for example, brown. Where I can apply this lovely brown? And I think this lovely brown can come in this section. So which color should we uh, apply in the section that we see between the red and blue? Which color? Or maybe just black. Let's apply the black. I think black could also look good here. See? That's interesting, because I did not expect, but look at this. So we have all the shapes filled with colors. All what we want to do, some of those shapes, uh, the colors in those shapes can be intensified. Okay, so that's what we have. And the next step will be to think, how, what can you do to those shapes? How can we make it more interesting? Okay, let the paint dry a little bit, intensify the colors, and then we'll come back. Now we have two options. One option will be for those of you who have some of the tempera paint at home or acrylic paint that you can splash some of the paint on the top of your painting. Those of you who don't have it, my suggestion uh, would be that we will draw in all those different shapes, different kinds of flowers or different objects. You can make faces there, you can make flower, uh, draw flowers. You decide what will work best for you. But the colors that we have inside of those shapes are only a background for that, what you really, really want to do, okay? So let me show you how to draw flowers. I think that probably will be the best choice for those of you who don't have any paint that can be splashed on the top. So we'll let it dry a little bit and remove masking tape and we will draw our flowers, different kinds. Now it's time for us to remove the masking tape and then be ready to draw. So let's start. Do it very, very carefully, slowly. Don't rush with removing the masking tape. See, wow, I like the shapes very much. Okay, carefully. Oop, see, oh, that was not good. And this is because I'm rushing and the paper is still not dry. So make sure that when you remove the masking tape, the paper, you see your painting is completely dry. Now I have to remove it because I make already the book. In case when something like that happen, make sure that you use the glue and you attach the part. Now this part can go here carefully. Again, we try to fix the problem. Oh, good. Whoa. So, just the edges. Okay, we have to proceed very carefully here with the edges. Fantastic. Wow. Great job. Next step, guys, will be to draw different elements on oh, our. Like you see what's happening with the flowers, how good they look like. I also can think that we can introduce some other. Uh, flowers here this will be I think we can use red I really like red so I will I will make some rounded shapes like this make sure that you leave a little bit white inside so just round it like this 
Um, let's see where we can have it. Maybe here. Okay, you can use any color you want, which you think will suit your, your artwork. I like to use this. See, a little bit of it here, a little bit of it here, to bring a little bit more of the colors. Okay, you can decide which colors you want to apply. I just like the red here, but it doesn't mean that this is the only option that you can have. You decide, you are the, art, you are the artist, so you make the decision about the colors, the shapes that you include. You see, I covered the white here, and that's okay. The same happened here. Maybe some accidents happen. Oh, the flower is not finished here, so maybe we'll just leave one. This is white. It happened. See, maybe one here, another one there, right? So we have lots of lots of those red um, rounded shapes, and they work well for us, okay? I will leave one here on the side, and I really want to indicate as the end. So maybe I can bring another one here, like this. This is fine, and maybe another one will come here. See, I'm cutting it like this to really show that is the edge. Maybe another one here. I really like this effect that it shows you where is the end of our paper. Maybe a little bit of the blue would be good here. Let me see. I just apply it for more colors. It's very, very colorful. And if you like lots of colors, that is a good choice. If you don't, stick to one. Okay? So, oh, wow, we don't have even red here. Some more of those bright colors. Okay. So this is quite nicely done. And the last thing that you want to do, you can use some shapes inside. You can draw them. You can draw using the um, pastels or... Like you see here, I can draw some flowers or I can simply leave the color the way it is. But I want to show you some other options. So I have my regular piece of paper. I fold it into the half, then I fold it into the quarters. You see, and I will cut the flower. So what I need to have, I don't want to have a too big flower. Remember, this is just the quarter here. Or maybe I even move it to the other side here as well. And then it's like the eight now. Okay, so from there, I want to create my flower. And I, will, I don't want to have it too big, so probably this would be okay. Notice, this will be half of the pattern, so those patterns will be quite big. See, like this. Okay, then you have to cut it. And I will actually cut it also in the center because I want to have this empty space here. Okay, guys, so I have my pair of scissors and now I'm cutting the center. And then I will be cutting my flower. Fantastic. So now from there, I have my flower. Let's see, I'm also curious for myself. Oh, that will be a beautiful big flower. Wow, look at this, and perfectly in the center. So using the glow stick to attach my flower to the ground. Okay, I also like what is happening here. See with the colors, let's see, perfectly in the center, right? Look at this. And then maybe I will place something in there like this. Look at this, how nice it looks like. It's very bright. You can do, you can repeat it in other places as well. That's up to you. I will show you one more flower. So the other flower that I would suggest, and maybe you can even make more of them, would be, let me see, I will draw it. So what we can do here now, we make this shape. Oh, this is a little bit too big, so I will make it smaller. I will cut it like this, noticed. So just half circle, way, right? So it's half folded paper here. And now I will cut, I will cut the patterns going inside. Mm -hmm. Yes, now I have my flower. Just have to open it. Okay, and that's my flower, guys. Wow, look at this. I can place it on the bright colors. I also think it would be nice to cut it in the center. I really like the effect that you have, that you can see the color there. So you see the other flower can come here. And so you can have more and more and more of them. Okay, so you see there will be another flower here. And then you can, you can combine different um, flowers here. Okay, we can have another one here, another one there. Two, and I think we had more. See, so like this, or oh, we we'll just apply it here, and that should be okay. Our nice flowers will come, all those different sections, and we have lots of lots of fun. Have to apply more. 
certain here and then just the last flowers so what i want to have now not i fold it fold my paper and then just into the half and i will draw the flower and i will draw the flower that will look like this like this like this and like this and i draw another one because i want to have this will be one two three i need three maybe another flower another one the same way you see how we've done the one before and then another one coming the same way okay here 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 like this and then working here oh not this side see i will have this side the flower then i cut another one here use glue to attach it maybe here yep and then the last one mm -hmm. then I want to cut the hole inside fantastic and that's what we will have here yes look at our painting I really like it uh, painting slash drawing slash collage so I hope that you enjoyed working with me on it and you will create your own painting. Thank you. Bye. Till the next time. Bye.